So this is actually called an isokinetic dynamometer. And what we use it for is to check force production in the quads and hamstrings before we return somebody to sport or check an index, which is basically the symmetry side to side. And the reason why he's doing it so slow here, even though he's pushing so hard, is it's because it's designed to do that. If he pushes one pound of force or a thousand pounds of force, it's gonna go the same speed. Now, typically this speed here is around 60 degrees per second. And the reason we use it is because we don't want him to overpower the machine. We wanna give his body time to produce his highest amounts of force because that's what we're trying to measure. Now, there's other settings that we wanna see how fast he can move, and that's usually at about 180 degrees per second, which is about three times as fast as this. And you'll see his legs swinging back and forth a lot quicker. Both are very important. The slower one checks maximal force and still checks how fast you can get to that maximal force, whereas the faster one will actually check how quickly we can get that force up and how fast we can move the leg. Both are important if we're trying to return somebody to sport and reduce the risk of injury when they get back.